Hey guys, Sean here at Mahalo, and today I'm going to show you how to cut down your find time by using the search function. One of the essential items in Windows 7 is the search function. This is a really handy tool to know. Getting familiar with this function will only make your Windows experience more efficient. For basic searches, you can just type in the search bar at the top right of any Windows Explorer window. This will show any items inside the location that you're looking in. For example, here are my documents. You can also search from the start menu. If you don't see the file you're looking for, then just hit the See More Results button. You can also choose which areas to search inside by clicking here. And then at the top, in the search field, you can change search filters, like Kind, Type, and Date. For example, I can add a search filter to search for files that have been modified earlier this week. I can also remove this filter by just hitting the X in the search field. You can also reach the search field by using the keyboard shortcut Control plus F or from anywhere in Windows, just press the Windows key plus F. One nice thing about Control F is that it's pretty much a universal search find shortcut for all programs. For example, if you're looking for text in a document, or you'd like to find a word on a web page, just use Control plus F. One last thing about the search function is that it uses a lot of similar search parameters that web search engines use. These search parameters in Windows are called Advanced Query Syntax. And this is simply another way to search for items you're looking for. For instance, if you wanted to find a picture that was titled John Smith, but had a problem finding it with all the other Smith family photos showing up, you can just put John Smith inside quotations so that the entire name is searched instead of just the two names separately. For a full list of all the available search syntax, simply click on the syntax link in the description of this video. And there you have it. You now have the ability to find all the files you're looking for in Windows 7. And if you'd like to stay connected to this learning course, make sure to subscribe and feel free to rate and comment below. Thanks for watching.